ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Steaming Pile, the new show on Gamer Powered. If you're not subscribed already, you should be, because there's going to be a lot of very fun content coming in the future. I am Tetra, and I am here to show you Steaming Pile, which is my show where I go through Steam trailers and find my favourite ones, starting by being sorted at user reviews and going to the lowest reviewed. I'm going to avoid games I've seen before, so unfortunately Airport Simulator and games like that will not be in this one. And I'm going to start with this one, Uriel's Chasm, and we're just going to watch the trailers together and see what we like about them. Uriel's Chasm. Rail Slave Games presents. Don't rail slaves. Don't do anything to slaves. I remember a joke she made about like having found some space on an asteroid. I have not understood a single word she said yet. Oh, ow, my ears. A random let's play of a long forgotten game. Oh my god, the editing. <laughs> there is a mouth with teeth. Lots of blood. Becomes a metaphysical quest. Wait, is this a game about a let's play? Oh good lord. Uh, that, that, see, that, that doesn't look the worst, but the text, green with no border, is very unpleasant. That is very unpleasant on the eye. Into the very nature of God. Oh good lord. Oh my god, what is with the- f why is there a filter? That filter is really unpleasant. And what's she even holding on to? Is that- I don't even know what that is. Oh god. That filter is just terrible. And death. The font's okay. The music is not ideal. Oh, uh, why are we spinning? Trees! Seven! She's got seven trees, guys! 420. Oh my- oh. Unfiltered red text on green. Very pleasant. And we're back to these people again. Still with the terrible filter. Invest in a better camera! Or at least just take the filter off. Coming to Steam. 2014. We've come a long way since then. And I don't want to go back ever. Alright, let's have a quick look at some of the reviews of this game. So let's see how it went in 2014 when it came out. Where's the review section? I've completely forgotten where because I haven't been on here in a while. So, recently posted... I was given to this game for free by a, a many hearts who called himself my friend. The moment I booted up the game, I immediately censored myself, filling my pants to the ch to the cuffs with fecal matter. It was merely a sign of things to come. As I attempted to play, each time I pick up a Bible quote, blood would seem would stream from my nose. I could hear endless screaming inside my head, as if the souls of the damned trapped in this accursed thing. Voices told me to go out and kill, and that God would forgive me. Nay, welcome the sacrifices. Well then. This game taught me so much about the Is this a religious game? I didn't even realise. <laughs> I had no idea. I mentioned It mentioned God, but I didn't realise it was that. This game taught me so much about the Bible. I had completely forgotten the parable of the space nun who fought alien crucifixes and giant space giraffe while simultaneously running away from a gaping mouth called the Garden of Paradise. The search for space Jesus level was oh the search for space Jesus level sorry was magnificent and so true to the original telling of the wonderful life of Jesus five out of seven would recommend to all my friends. All right, so let's have a look at the next one. Let's have a look at Gasp here. Let's have a read of what they want us to think about it before we go into it. It was released on January nineteenth, two thousand sixteen. So this is this game is this year. So we have a lot to look forward to here. 2016's been a decent year for games. He lied. This game takes place in the same universe as our upcoming title, Secluded. Yes, that is what it says. You take control of a lone astronaut that lands on the surface of a planet miles away from the other members. M members of what? Like the other members of their crew, other members of the book club, they have not said. And it is your job to meet up with, an a with the other astronauts. Is it just me or were we taught as children to not... Uh, start a sentence with the word and. Because I'm pretty sure that was the rule that we were taught. I'm pretty sure that's good grammar. But either way, spelling and grammar aside, because I am dyslexic, I am forgiving on these. Let's have a look at the trailer for Gasp. Hello? Respond. Are you okay? Respond. Voice acting. Yes. Put some effort into it, miss. Because you just got hit in the face of a meteor, do you not want to react to this at all? And again! Third time? Hey, she dodged it, well done. Third time's the charm. My- oh, no, no, never mind. 
She's just playing. She's just headering balls. Oh God's sake! Bloody buffering. Ah, buffering is a problem. Playing. Could they be the meteors that repeatedly hit you in the face, miss? We're unsure which is the right signal. You're gonna have to choose one and hope for the best. Oh, goody. Your O2 tank wasn't built for long surface trips, so you only get one chance to choose. Because I don't what? think the oxygen will is, 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 is she literally saying, oh, you now have to do an adventure. You have a one in five chance of dying. Hello? Oh, no. Oh, wait, hang on. We need to look at reviews, don't we? Back we go. All right, let's have a look at some reviews. Hello? So, oh, shut up. <laughs> let's start it again. All right, uh, this game is well. Just imagine you are in a blender with thousands of rocks, Slender Man, and a creepy stalker lady telling you to breathe slowly. Spelt with two, spelt with three L's in the word slowly. While you are in zero gravity, while eating cake. That describes it, yeah. Oh, wow, Spud, that was an amazing review. Uh, let's have a look at Youth Drainers, just because the icon has very much captured my attention here. I don't know how well that's going to come across on screen, because I'm running my screen at 4K, so it's going to be very small on your screen. But let's have a look. Oh, hang on. This content can this uh, content in this product may not be appropriate for all ages. You may not be appropriate for viewing at work. Okay. In an unknown location. Okay, no, what? In an unknown location, pregnant women are held and monitored against their will by a race of little evil humanoids. They want the babies for their heinous experiments. But you, with no capital on the butt, as a mother, see no alternative but to take your own life to save your- What? Save your baby so- Okay, what? Let's watch this. This is- Okay. I- <laughs> I am- already slightly upset. Oh my god, that picture. There you go. That's what it looks like. They love little children. I don't like this. No. Don't like where this is going. That was very low frame rate. Oh, uh, what? What's... <laughs> what is happening? You, you carry a child. That, that's good, I guess. They know it. I... Yeah, search the toilet. You you do that. Compelling gameplay. Also, ridiculously low frame rate. <laughs> oh my god, her face. Oh god. <laughs> what just... <laughs> she met Jason, who then proceeded to throw her out the window. The youth trainers. Let's have like a positive reviews. Oh, we, we can't. There are zero positive reviews for this game. Well then, that's unpleasant. And I've just, I've just noticed that it has a second trailer. Let's have a look, shall we? You get the double whammy, you traders. Promotion. When the lights are going out, uh, dramatic. But they're not, because she clearly has a torch. <laughs> it's a place where nothing seems right. That That's definitely a word for it. That's definitely one thing you can say. And you are about to give birth to an innocent, beautiful baby. Yeah, fine. That's fine. That's, that's acceptable. You could try and hide. Yeah, turn off. If you want to hide, turn off the damn torch. Or just pull the dawn trigger and blow. What? That's a bit. Okay. Uh, we're going to a bit extreme here. Because in the end. Oh my god, okay. Oh my. Oh. Evilized Productions. <laughs> I've just seen the name. Well then. So, the bad guys are quite literally lawn gnomes wearing raincoat. That's what I've gathered from this. They appear to have beards from this picture. Can I see this? Can I see this bigger? I don't know how well this is showing up, uh, but they do appear to just be zombie lawn, modes, lawn gnomes wearing raincoats. Wow. Okay. Well, that is thoroughly unpleasant. And I think that's gonna 
that's going to do it for today's episode of Steaming Pile. I... This game, this show, this show is going to break me. I regret this decision. But, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much for watching. If you'd like to see more, be sure to subscribe to this channel and check out the other videos that will be going up from the other amazing content creators here. I have been Tetra. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you all next time, unless the youth traders get me. Take care. <laughs>